If you're just getting started in cybersecurity, you've probably wondered this. Should I focus on certifications or real-world projects? Because everyone says that certifications open doors. But then you see people on LinkedIn only showcasing projects. So what actually works? In today's video, I'll break down the difference between certifications and projects, when each one matters, and how to combine them to actually get hired. If this is your first time seeing one of my videos, hello, my name is Steven, and I've been working in cybersecurity for about nine years now, mainly within the security operations domain. On this channel, you'll find videos about career guidance, lab walkthroughs, and SOC-related projects that you can work on to build up your portfolio. With that being said, let's talk about certifications versus projects and what hiring managers actually look for in an entry-level candidate. Well, at least in my opinion. So why certifications matter, but not in the way you think. Let's get one thing clear, certifications are not useless and they do serve a purpose as they can help you with the following. They can help prove foundational knowledge, get past HR filters, show commitment to the field and give you structured learning if you don't know where to start. But here's the problem. Many beginners chase certifications and some aren't even <laughs> relevant to what they are applying for. Many certifications are also often multiple choice exams, and they don't necessarily show how you think. For example, if you pass Security Plus or Microsoft's SC200, that doesn't tell a hiring manager how you investigate an alert or write a report. It just shows that you studied and took a test. So while certifications can definitely help open doors, they rarely close the deal. Which leads me to my next point. Why projects stand out? When I say project, I'm not talking about something massive. I mean something real, something that's practical, something that shows how you approach problems. And that could be investigating a phishing simulation in your lab, writing a detection rule and explaining your logic, creating a timeline of suspicious activity using a sim of your choice, or even building a mini triage playbook based on your learning. And when you share this kind of work on LinkedIn, GitHub, or whichever platform that you're most comfortable with, it does a few things for you. It shows your initiative, it shows your communication skills, but most importantly, it proves that you've done more than just study. So what do hiring managers actually want? Well, here's what most beginners don't realize. Hiring managers don't expect perfection, especially for junior level roles. Instead, they expect clarity, effort, and curiosity. So when they are looking at a junior candidate, they're asking themselves, can this person learn quickly? Can they break down a problem and communicate clearly? And are they also coachable? A certification doesn't answer those questions, but a project does, even a small one, because it gives them insight into how you think, what you focused on, and how you documented it. And if you've been stuck applying to jobs with only a list of certifications, this is probably the missing piece. So should you ignore certifications completely? No, especially if you're just starting out and need structure. But here is how I would approach it. Use one certification to build up your foundation. I would pick one that's relevant like Security Plus or Microsoft SC200 and then learn the key concepts. Then immediately apply what you learned through a small project. For example, if you just studied incident response, simulate a phishing alert in a lab and write a mini report for it. Then document the process publicly. Use a free platform like LinkedIn or GitHub and don't be afraid to share your work. Lastly, make this a cycle and be consistent. If you learn something new, look into applying it and then document your work and share with others. Continue to rinse and repeat and you'll start to build a lot more confidence in your technical ability. By doing this, it shows visibility, builds trust and shows that you're not just reading about cybersecurity, you're actually doing it. So if you've been asking yourself whether you need more certifications or if you should start building projects, the answer is simple, do both. Projects are what gets you hired. Certifications can help, but they don't speak for you. Let your work do that. That is it for the video and thank you for watching. If you found this informative, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. Remember to stay curious and do things differently.